Why should my healthcare system adopt a penicillin allergy delabeling program? There are many benefits of removing penicillin allergy for patients, both on an individual level and then on a health systems level. The benefits of penicillin allergy removal include the ability to administer targeted antibiotic therapy with less side effects, the prevention of development of multi-drug resistant organisms, antibiotic cost reduction, shorter length of stay, and decreased mortality. Having a penicillin allergy program and incorporating that into the broader antimicrobial stewardship efforts are strongly in line with recommendations from the Joint Commission and the CDC's core elements of antimicrobial stewardship. As you begin such a program, it's important to consider the various stakeholders involved in the amoxicillin challenge process. These not only include hospital leadership, but nursing staff, internal medicine, infectious diseases and allergy physicians, pharmacy, and of course, the patients themselves. Who should have oversight of the process if we have no allergist? Not having allergists isn't a barrier to beginning such a program. There are many other lines and services that can take responsibility and lead these efforts, including infectious diseases, internal medicine, pharmacy, and the hospital antimicrobial stewardship program. Does this need institutional review board or ethics committee approval? Delabeling patients with penicillin allergy is a clinical standard of care. There are numerous studies showing the safety and effectiveness of oral amoxicillin challenges. It would be wise to consult with your local hospital facility regarding their procedures, but such a project like this would fall better under the realm of quality improvement and not research. Does this interfere with other clinical activities during inpatient stays? A direct oral amoxicillin challenge requires a very short period of monitoring, between 30 minutes to an hour, and should not interfere with inpatient tests or procedures. When performing a direct oral amoxicillin challenge, factors such as scheduled inpatient procedures, testing, or same-day discharge plans should be considered to avoid conflict with the oral challenge. Does the patient need to move to the intensive care unit for monitoring? Given the safety of an oral challenge, the low risk of reaction, and the ability to manage these reactions on the floor, there is no need to transfer the patient to the intensive care unit for monitoring. How do I prevent inappropriate relabeling of penicillin allergy? Relabeling is the adding back of that penicillin allergy label without evidence. This is a major ongoing challenge and is often related to the lack of correction of the electronic medical record, lack of concordance as to how allergies are documented for a patient across different health systems and pharmacies. And there are simple tools such as patient education, reminding them to answer no when asked about a penicillin allergy, provision of a patient delabeling card, and adjustment of the electronic health record alerts. These are all things that can help to prevent relabeling.